drinking buddies. I went to Wisconsin. I did some bottle hunting around here in Arizona. What did I come up with? Let's find out. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> All right, drinking buddies. So I did tour the distillery um, Driftless Glen while I was out there in Wisconsin. And I even picked up this t-shirt. Uh, anyway, um, great tour. Uh, I, did, I did pay for the shirt. I did pay for the whiskey I got there. Um, picked up some stuff to drink. Um, but yeah, you know, that is, this is a distillery that has sent me a few bottles in the past. So if you think that's bias, I, I don't, because I wouldn't have gone out of my way to go to their distillery if, uh, if I didn't love the whiskey. So anyway, what did I get in Wisconsin? How was the tour? What was it like? Well, um, it, it's a, it's a beautiful area. Like it's a re it's really nice. It's, it's very wooded where it's at. It's right by a state park. Um, it's right by this really cool downtown. That's like, uh, something that was feels like it was ripped out of the 1950s. The, the little downtown area is really nice. Um, really cool town, Baraboo, Wisconsin. And uh, yeah, so the tour, we went in their distillery, learned about how they make their whiskeys, um, learned about their entire process. They do all uh, sweet mash whiskeys. So here's a little bit of information for you. I'm sure some of you who are maybe new to it don't know the difference between sweet mash and sour mash. So just a little uh, uh, lesson here. So sweet mash is going to be something where you use a brand new mash every time you make your whiskey. Now a sour mash is you take a little bit of the previous mash and put that into your uh, your mash you're making your whiskey with this, the next time. So somewhat similar to like a sourdough starter. Uh, you know, you're constantly using that same piece to, 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 to move it forward. Um, so that's the difference between sweet mash and sour mash. Um, all of their whiskeys are aged at least five years. Um, they're still a newer company, so you know they're they're you know nearing the ten year mark. So eventually, we'll probably get ten year age stated stuff out of them. I hope. Uh, but now we're starting to see some eight plus year age stated stuff from them, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, uh, so they mostly focus on bourbon and rye, but they also have a million other things. So so it's actually really cool. Uh, they there's, they have a single malt. Um, that one wasn't a buy for me, but it was pretty tasty. Um, they had a uh, brandy and the way they make their brandy is they actually buy French brandy from France and age it in their used bourbon barrels right there in Baraboo, Wisconsin. So uh, they have this big part of the Rick House just dedicated to brandy. And uh, yeah, uh, I did try that. It's pretty tasty. Wasn't a buy for me because it's not my kind of spirit, but I do say that I liked it a lot more than the average brandy, that's for sure. Uh, what else do they have going on? Uh, so they also have uh, some barrel aged gin that I found to be pretty tasty as well. It almost tastes like you cross a rye whiskey with uh, with gin. Um, and I, I found it pretty enjoyable. Um, they have a nice little, so you take the tour. When you're done, you get to keep your glass, but um, you can try whatever you want that they had there. Um, you know, uh, I got to try the whole lineup and uh, had a really, really good time doing it. Everyone on the tour was you know, very curious, asking a lot of questions, which makes these types of things so much better. If you're on a tour like this, ask away. It, it just makes the process better, I think, when you ask questions. There are no dumb questions. Um, it's just fun. Uh, but anyway, what did I get while I was there? I grabbed, they have this Pinot de Chirance finished bourbon. That's 110 proof. What's Pinot de Chirance, you might say? Well, it's a French uh, sweet red wine that I would say to me tastes a little bit like port when you put it on bourbon. Uh, I'm sure that if I drank it next to port, it wouldn't taste like port. But when you put bourbon in a Pinot de Chirance barrel, it kind of has a little bit of a port barrel thing. Um, this is really good. I, I had to buy this one because I tried it there and I liked it so much I wanted to grab it. Um, I also grabbed a little sample bottle. I was running out of room in my suitcase. <laughs> um, I grabbed a little sample bottle of their 51 rye. So it's 102 proof rye. So uh, wild turkey, you're dropping the ball. You already have wild turkey 101. You missed the chance to do wild turkey 102 because Driftless Glen has rye 102. So sorry, actually it's 51 rye, but anyway. I did grab this because I, I wanted to do a review of it and uh, yeah, so I bought that to try to do a review of. And then I also grabbed, uh, this one's actually not for me. I probably should have bought one for myself, but as I said, room in my suitcase was, was, was running thin. Um, this is an eight plus year single barrel rye. Uh, that's at 122 proof. And I grabbed this from my good buddy, Brian, over at Chill Filtered Podcast. So uh, I am showing his bottle off here, even though I'm not going to keep it because I wanted to give a shout out for Chill Filtered. So 
go ahead and uh, check out his podcast, his YouTube channel, whatever it is. He does a great, uh, it's been going on for a long time, him and his co-host Cole. Uh, Cole's been doing it much longer. Brian's fairly new to it, but Brian's a great guy. And uh, yeah, this one's for him. Um, next up, we have Tattershall Straight Rye Whiskey, 132 proof. This is a store pick. Um, it is a four year old rye, 85% rye, 15% malted barley, sorry, 15% malted rye. And you guys know I'm a sucker for malted rye. Uh, so it's a 100% rye recipe and it's aged, but you know, they produce, bottled, distilled everything by Tattershall Distilleries, River Falls, Wisconsin. Um, this is a total wine store pick and it was like $45 for barrel proof rye that is craft and a store pick. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't popped it yet. I'm dying to try it, but I really, uh, yeah, I want, I want to know how good that is. You guys know I'm a sucker for the malted rye. So that was my Wisconsin haul. Fairly small haul uh, because I'm running out of room, guys. Some, at a certain point, I gotta, uh, the bottles are, are, are catching up to, I have more bottles than I can drink. So, all right. Next up, uh, Beryl sent me the uh, Mazanera finished, cask finished series. It's 116.42 proof. Now, I did not buy this. Barrel sent it to me. So maybe I shouldn't include it in my bottle haul, but I got it today. I'm excited about it. I really want to review it. Um, I did let a couple people try it already. Uh, and yeah, review to come for sure. Um, next up, we have a couple bottles from Total Wine. So uh, they were doing a triple points thing. So I felt like I had to buy something. And so I had these two bottles in my hands, the uh, Balconis Texas Single Malt, because I don't have one at the moment, and the uh, Sweetness Cove Tennessee, uh, this is Kentucky and Tennessee bourbon whiskeys finished with toasted sugar maple wood. And this is on clearance for like 32 bucks. What the heck? I was so excited because it's 110.7 proof. You don't buy barrel proof whiskeys for 32 bucks very often. So I found that to be really cool. And I got triple points on it. But yeah, I had these two bottles in my hands and my good buddy Mac was like, why don't you let me buy that single malt for you? And I was like, well, thank you, sir. And so that was a gift from my good buddy Mac. Uh, yeah, and then we got two more left. Um, let's make a little room here. Two more left. Uh, I grabbed two store picks at Nana's Kitchen today. Uh, you guys may have heard me talk about Nana's Kitchen in the past. It's my favorite Mexican food restaurant in Tucson, Arizona. Where, but they have an excellent selection of uh, tequila and bourbon. And uh, they're a bottle shop, so you can buy bottles from them. And so I grabbed their two newest picks. They did a Woodford Double Oaked pick. Uh, yeah. These, I've actually, I've actually never had a Woodford Double Oaked pick. I know, right? Me. Whiskey tube guy. I've never had one. Uh, I've had wood for double oak before, of course, but I've never had a pick. So pretty darn cool to grab that. And then also they did a pick of one of my favorite whiskeys. It's Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Uh, and this is 129.8 proof. And uh, yeah, I got the little placard on there and everything. They they went to, to Tennessee to, to pick this, to Kentucky to pick this. My two buddies, uh, Marco and Javier. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to pop those because if you can get good picks by people you know you have a good flavor profile that want, you know your flavor profile lines up with theirs, yeah, you're you're gonna have a good time. Uh, and uh, yeah, so if you're in Tucson, Arizona, you might consider checking out Nana's Kitchen, especially if you like good Mexican food, bourbon or tequila, because it's a great spot. Uh, but yeah, anyway, drinking buddies, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. Every time you guys like these videos, every time you guys subscribe to the channel, you make this thing possible. I seriously could not do this without you. Cheers. We'll see you on the next one.